been on point throughout his UFC career, and got to figure there's going to be plenty more where that came from here in this matchup. You know, this guy is such a great boxer, John, that if he decided to chase down the Olympic gold medal, you would think that he would have that opportunity. His ability to go out there and set traps, his footwork, his movement is next level. It is not something we have seen before. I would have expected to see this man in Beijing, Athens, somewhere trying to represent the country, but instead, he does his work inside the UFC's octagon, and he is special, and he is so fun for him. Eddie Craze from a two-time United States Olympian, Daniel Cormier. First order of business, though, tonight, winning this mixed martial arts contest. This man has headlined for the UFC before. He has been in some absolute wars. Tonight, though, not looking to end up in the hospital. He wants to be more of a technician on the feet. He has worked very hard with Eugene Behrman and all of his training partners at City Kickboxing. They want a clean technical effort here tonight. And candidly, they believe they have the right opponent to produce that result. Nice punch to the head. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Beautiful leg kick lands. Clipped him with a right hand there. Hooker's now dealing with a cheat cut. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he's past from trying to find that shot again. Oh, nice straight left there. And he comes through with a big knee. There's that body shot. 
Oh, beautifully placed hook there. He's connected on a few. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. Oh, he's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in element two. Oh! Oh, big left hand there. You heard him real bad. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, nice right hand. Under a minute now to go in the round. Well, informed speculation says he's going to try to... Big right hand there. Shoot over. Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up a sub. You got to try to find whether or not you're going to land ground and pound here or if you're going to go to submission. Big ground and pound. Inside the close guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. Our right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys going to kick the sink at each other. But you did see time when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Hooker. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Well, not exactly what we thought we would see out of this jiu-jitsu fighter. He's had a lot of success on the feet, and I think this is why sometimes the film can lie if you lean too heavily into it. Absolutely. I mean, you think you're coming in here to fight a grappler, and this guy looks like a boxer tonight. His hands have looked crispy. His kicks, everything that he is doing has worked, and I think this is partly due to the fact that you think he's trying to take you down, when in reality, this guy can fight everywhere. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Blocks the shot. Hooker's eye starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. Nice! Serena digesting what they just saw. That is not a TKO, folks. That is a clean knockout result tonight. I mean, just wow. What a performance by this young man knocking his opponent out with a single shot like that. We now go to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, six seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Master. And there is the man of the moment, and what 
a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoy the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But if you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands, that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.